Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another video and first of all, don't mind this, it's just it's just one of those days. I could not for the life of me wake up today. Um, so this, this was the best I could do. Second of all, um, as you can see by the title, this is another foundation hunt. However, this one's a little bit different. It's kind of similar to the Josie Marin foundation hunt that I did and where I don't have the actual bottle to show you. I have a sample to do this video today and this sample is coming from So Schwa. They reached out and were like, hey, would you want to try, you know, how our company works? And at first I was like, oh, it's like one of those subscription boxes, but no, they make it very clear that they are not like, you know, Ipsy or Birchbox or one of those or the Sephora Play Box. Um, they basically brand themselves like in online makeup counter and I like them for two reasons. One, because they are different in where they do offer sample sizes, however you don't have to actually subscribe to them to receive those samples. If you want, you can just go on their website and purchase a sample size for $5 and they're, the thing about them is their brands are like brands that you want to try before you actually invest all of your money into their products. It's like Chanel, YSL, um, Givenchy, like all those brands. They have like Benefit, Tarte, stuff like that too. Tarte, yeah, Tarte. Um, but yeah, so if you want to sample an $80 foundation for $5, you can go on their website and just do that too. And also, I guess they kind of are really like a makeup counter where if you just want to buy the full size, you know, if it's out of stock on Nordstrom or Sephora, you can just go buy the actual full size on their website as well. And the second reason I like them is because they understand that when you're trying a product out to see if you actually want to spend the actual money, you need more than just that baby scoop of sample that Sephora gives you, all right? They come back with a little baggie like, here's your sample, and you're just like, like I would have been better off just trying it from the damn sampler. Um, they give you sample sizes that you can actually use more than once, so you can tell if you actually want to purchase the full product. So um, this is the box that they sent me. And opening it up, they sent five samples. The first is this Origins, well, this is what the box actually looks like. I hope this will focus. The first is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser that I used last night. It is working on my face um, with this Sunday Riley breakout that I told you guys about. The next is this Guerlain Meteorites Pearl Base. Yeah, I don't know about this. Ever since this outbreak thing happened, I'm a little bit, I'm even more skeptical about what I put on my face. Uh, next is this Givenchy Hydra Sparkling Luminous Moisturizing Eye Reviving Gel. I used this last night underneath my eyes. And today I'll be using the Chanel La Solution 10 Sensitive Skin Cream as a moisturizer. And last but not least, the star of today's video, it is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick in Golden Almond FS. So let's keep it real. I'm not going to say like right after this video I'm going to go sign up for their subscription. However, I know if any of you ever asked to see a $80 foundation, I know where I'm going to get a sample size. So make sure to check them out, see if that's something that you're interested in. Now, let's get on to the star of the show. So I have been getting requests to do a foundation hunt on the Hourglass Foundation Stick ever since, or maybe even a little bit before I did the foundation hunt on the Anastasia Foundation Stick. So here it finally is. The Hourglass Foundation Stick, we're just going to pretend that, you know, this is the actual bottle, uh, retails for $46 for 0.25 ounces, and it comes in... 26? I believe 26 different shades. As always, I'm going to tell you guys the claims of this foundation. It claims to be a foundation and concealer. It claims to be a full coverage foundation after one layer. And it also claims to be long wearing. However, they take it a step further than that and say that it is a 12 hour coverage foundation. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so I do this side of my face with a beauty blender and this side of my face with a brush. Now, some people might be wondering, like, didn't you say Black Opal was going to be the next foundation that you do? It was, and see what had happened was, I was on their website and I added the foundation to my cart. And then this message popped up saying, if you add 15 more dollars to your cart, you get free shipping. 
and somewhere in my head it made more sense to add 15 more dollars to my cart than to just purchase that one item and pay like maybe five dollars shipping so long story short i've got a whole bunch of black opal products uh coming to my house so i was like why don't i just do like a full face of first impressions using one company like a concealer a foundation all that good stuff so yeah that'll be the next video that i post and now for the brush So here it is on my face. It is now 1:21. So I am going to leave, go about my business throughout the day, come back later and you all will get to see how it held up throughout the day and I will give you my thoughts on this foundation. Stay tuned. Okay, so I am back and it is now 7:15. Of course. Anyway, um so this is what it looks like after 6 hours, I believe. Oh, insert a clip here. First of all, applying this foundation was not fun. I would not suggest using a beauty blender to apply this foundation. I usually don't like using beauty blenders on stick foundations anyway, but with this one, I would definitely recommend you use a brush. Even with the brush side, there were some issues, but on that one, I preferred the brush side than the beauty blender side. Now, if you remember, one of the claims is that this is a full coverage foundation. No, it is not. In the Becca Foundation Hunt video, I mentioned that I have a mole here on the side of my face, so if you can still see it, then that should tell you how full coverage this found the foundation I'm trying is. You can still see the mole on the side of my face, and because of good old Sunday Riley, there are now some uh, dark spots left left over from the acne that you can still see through this foundation. So it's definitely a medium coverage foundation. Is it buildable to full coverage? I feel like you might pass with two layers, but if you go over two layers, it's, it, no, nah, it's, you can't go past two layers with this foundation. Um, without it looking cakey on your face. It also claimed to be a long-lasting foundation and claimed 12-hour coverage. Obviously, it has not been 12 hours. It's been half that time, and this is what my face looks like now. This is definitely better than some of the foundations that I have tried. However, this is half the time, and as you can see, I am starting to get oily, so I can only imagine what I would look like six hours from now if I kept this foundation on. Um, I am an oily combo skin person, it has a satin finish, so it's not matte, it's not dewy, it has a satiny finish. So for oily skin people out there, I would assume that with matte mattifying products and setting sprays that you could probably tame this for a couple more hours, but just keep in mind with no products, this is how it already looks after six hours. Now for the color match, um, that was one of the things I was most excited about when I first applied this foundation. I was like, yes! Finally, one of the few foundations I've tried in the last few that I have tried that does not have such a red undertone. Go back and watch Becca and Milani and you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, it doesn't leave you orange. Um, I felt like when I first applied it, it was, you know, a one tone color match. It has definitely oxidized throughout the day. Um, it does come in 26 shades. However, it's one of those, you know, where it's like the first... 1 through 20 are like light to medium and then the last ones are the few that darker skin tones have to choose from but I do feel like you'll find a shade that you can work with in this foundation. So with all that being said, would I recommend this product? No. I'm sorry. I mean, I just, I didn't see anything that impressed me enough to tell you guys yes go purchase this $46 foundation for the 2.5 ounces that you're getting. Um, I've done two other stick foundations, you can go watch those, see what you're paying for what you're getting, but for what you're paying for what you're getting for this, I just don't see it. Yes, it is super lightweight, even now, six hours later, still can't feel it on my face. Um, the color match was good, um, the finish was good, I, I'm a medium coverage person anyway, 
However, one thing that I feel like was just the biggest turnoff for me, like I was just not feeling it. I don't know if you guys realized it when I first applied it, but this thing just clings on to your dry patches like a dad clinging on to a TV on sale on Black Friday, all right? It was just not letting go. I have some dry skin around that breakout from Sunday Riley, and um, it just like it instantly clung onto it and I have some dry patches here and it just instantly clung onto them and it kind of started separating where those dry patches are um, and that was I was just like oh, I'm not feeling this would I go spend $46 for this especially when I've done all the other foundation hunt videos and you see um, you know what I paid for those and what I my reviews on those I just I just don't see it I mean if you've got the money and you like collecting foundations then sure go ahead try it out I'm sure with other products it'll be great I just I just I just don't see it for this one now, I usually like hourglass products but I just I don't see the hype here okay so that is it for this foundation hunt I hope seeing it and hearing my review has helped in your decision of whether or not you're gonna try it out for yourself make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one bye